There are only 22 people on Facebook who share my last name. My last name is awkward. No, really, it is actually awkward. No, not awkward like I'm ashamed of it and don't want to tell you, but awkward as in synonym for clumsy. As in A-W-K-W-A-R-D, as I'll show you my goddamn idea if you still don't believe me, got it good anyway. <laughs> there are only 22 people on Facebook who share my last name. My father, my sister, a cousin, an uncle, a great aunt, 11 people I've never met, but keep sending me friend requests and a handful I would have never stumbled across if I hadn't taken the time to look. We are scattered around the country, leaves after centuries of wind, so I'm sure that they are not all my family. Still, none of us are white. All families have their origin story. There, when your grandmother, when your great grandmother, when your great 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 grandmother came to this country, stories, of course, ours involves a hungry ocean. A ghost ship with a rumbling got reeled to shore by hundreds of greedy and ghost white hands, but in the first grade, in a state where teachers do not like to hear about all the ways this country is a haunted house, this was not the story I told on Family History Day, not exactly. Instead, I unwind a fable dad likes to tell a real origin myth how the awkward clan got their name. There is no haunting here. Only a stubborn slave. Only a ladder. Only the insistent lie of gravity. He would climb up, Dad said, only to crash down a great clumsy bird. And this was his way of refusing to be born. <clears throat> and this is why we do not carry a name like Smith or Jones chained around our throats, child. We were not named for the family that owned our bodies, but after their <coughs> ability to see when they've been owned. <laughs> the white teacher just pursed her lips shook her head like this was a dirty secret I had uncoiled from the darkest parts of me, let loose in her classroom a serpent unhinging its jaws like she would rather I tell a story about the whip, about the body strung up and left to rot, about anything but the loopholes, but the way if we fling our bodies hard enough against the ground, the walls tremble. So I just stood there, avoided eye contact with everyone, just tongue-tied enough. Just unsure and bumbling and awkward enough that she had no choice but to join in the chorus of laughter, gently releasing me to my seat without insisting on the impossibility of my family's lie. I didn't know it then, but this teacher, she taught me everything I still know for sure. That we are all born fighting something, but that volume is not the same as urgency, so it is okay to be quiet. Yes. You should never trust the quiet ones because awkward can still be its own form of resistance. That there is a starving snake coiled in the maddest parts of me. That I can unhinge my jaws. That I can swallow you whole. And that you would never see it coming. Yeah. Yeah.